another weird one. Another weird one. Like I said, folks, the show just kind of keeps getting weirder and weirder today. Okay, so this, I can only assume, is from a Lib account because it's got the Ukraine flag in it. And uh, he posted a reaction. They're eating the dogs. Okay, so this is how you look. If, if you appreciate comedy, comedy is comedy, no matter who says it. And this video is really cute and really funny. So even if it is from a lib, we'll look past that because this is a pretty great video. 12 million views, well-deserved in my opinion. Let's check this out. Dog was taken and used for food. So <laughs> maybe he said that, and maybe that's a good yeah. thing to say for a city manager. I'm not taking this from but television. But the people I'm on television it from the are saying the dog was eaten by <laughs> the people that went there. <laughs> Again, the Springfield city manager says there's no evidence of that. Vice <laughs> we'll President Harris, out. I'll let you respond to the rest yeah, of what you've heard. Time. My dog that's was cute. taken and used for food, so <laughs> maybe he said that, and maybe that's a good yeah. thing to say for a city manager. I'm not taking this from but television. But the people I'm on taking television it from the saying city manager. their dog was eaten by <laughs> the people that went there. Again, the Springfield city manager says there's no here. evidence of that. Vice President Harris, I'll let you See, respond to the See, even the dogs think you're weird, man. You talk about extreme. You're even weirding out the dogs. He, he understands the word dog, but he doesn't like the tone. Right. He could say, like, dog? What? Dog? That's me. What? But it doesn't hmm. sound like this person means me anything yeah. good. Something weird. Something's not right. I'm out of here. <laughs> Something's, not right, not right. Right. <laughs> Something's not right about this guy. I'm out of here. Um, so what is this all in reference to, obviously, the uh, dog eating? Um, this is a video that was posted to supposedly, you know, Fact check the fact checkers here. So this is a lovely account here. Lovely people at National Identity Awareness. No, that, that's not a Nazi. That's not a Nazi handle. National Identity Awareness. Not According to the debate moderators, this is false. Hashtag Springfield, Ohio. This is police body cam of a cat being eaten by a Haitian. She was arrested. The fake news media strikes again. All right. Well, folks, I got I to gotta let you know something here. Uh, our friend Jimmy Dore. Apparently, fact-checking Republicans. I guess they got to him. I guess he sold out. He's fact-checking the Republicans now. I well, well, yeah, no. That's a shame. I, That's I, sad to see. No, no. Didn't you watch his show last night? He had he had a whole rainbow shirt on. That's right. That's right. They got, they got DNC to talking. They got, he, is, is, he, he he finally went back to dyeing his hair, but it's blue now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, he says what is obviously true. Everybody, you know, knows this by now. This is from Canton, Ohio, so not Springfield. And the woman is a U.S. citizen, not a Haitian. So that's a video you can watch. I don't know if we're allowed to show cat eating on YouTube. I guess it's probably not, so we're not going to show that video. But uh, Charlie Kirk is spearheading the investigation into the Haitian migrant cat eating posse uh, in Springfield, Ohio. So new, our Frontline's TP USA team visited Springfield, Ohio today. Everyone they spoke to has heard stories of people's pets being eaten, as well as ducks and geese disappearing. Everyone they spoke to. Residents describe it as a tinderbox and a time bomb ready to go off. So let's watch this video. You're going to be next, boy. I ain't eating nothing off of a barbecue pit around here. Ducks. <laughs> Ducks are disappearing. So the migrants are eating geese, you think? That's Have you heard of pets being abducted? Yep. Cats are a delicacy in Haiti. So it's not that they're poor and eating them because they don't have other food. It is a delicacy like someone would eat escargot. And then I heard that stuff on Facebook and I thought, oh, I better watch my dogs. Well, that, that wasn't verified. Well, the Springfield, Ohio right well, now I wasn't convinced is a tender before, box. Right, right, yeah, they're exactly. killing cats. They're eating geese. They're, they're crashing cars. One of these... First of all, I love it. Geese are disappearing. How do you know geese are disappearing? How would you know? Is there a registry of geese no, in Springfield, no, Ohio? Or is every no, goose uh, tagged on their leg? Uh, you keep track of the exact goose population in this town? How do you know geese are disappearing? No, listen. I can see um, people's pets are disappearing. Hey, I notice there aren't as many ducks walking around here anymore. It must be those migrants snatching them up and eating them. This, I experienced this because where I grew up flushing, um, it was Irish and Italian when I was growing up. And this influx of Asians took place when I was in my teens into my twenties. And now it's actually the largest Asian population outside of Asia is in Flushing today. It's completely Asian now. Uh, but yeah, no, when they were moving in, same thing. People said, Oh, the cats are disappearing. 
they're eating the ducks from the, you know, there, there was a lake there with ducks. Oh, right. they're eating the ducks. No evidence. I never actually knew anybody who said their cat had gone missing or their dog had gone missing, but everyone was convinced. Yep. Yeah, no, no. You notice there's no cats around? Word spread like wildfire. It's going to light, and it's going to be bad. Part of that is because in the state of Ohio, you cannot use lethal force to protect property, and pets are considered property. Are you carrying a firearm now to keep yourself safe? How has that changed? How yes, I do. I, I got a couple guns, and I'm not afraid to use them. I was raised <laughs> at the hills. Our town is a bomb, especially with the influx of immigrants or whatever you want to say. People, it's a, it's a time bomb ready to go off. Okay. Human sacrifice, a... dogs and cats living yeah. together, mass hysteria. So that was a TPUSA investigation headed by, obviously, Charlie Kirk. Uh, now, there have not been any firsthand accounts or any police reports of people's pets being abducted or eaten. Obviously, the one thing that was posited as evidence slash proof is not a, not uh, actually true. There was one me mentally ill American woman ate a cat in a different town. Okay. Um, but, folks... Um, as long as we're into rewriting history here, as long as we're into pursuing alternate histories, as is the hobby of many viewers slash former viewers of the show, um, <laughs> I want to I want to introduce to you a theory that we, this we, is we we love the poorly educated. That's right. I want to introduce a theory that this might not be what it seems because here is the same Charlie Kirk about six months ago. Uh, talking about what his friends have witnessed when they've gone to Haiti vis-a-vis -vis cats and humans. Fixable. And one of the reason is that I think, first of all, I think part of the country is literally under a spiritual oppression. I've talked to missionaries and missionaries that have gone there, and they say they've seen the darkest stuff that a human being can see. In fact, I, I know people that have come, that went to Haiti passively as like agnostic atheists and they came back searching for jesus because they saw like legit demonic activity well do you have do, do they say any more that they... um yeah there was one guy who saw somebody who literally didn't sleep for two weeks and would just like run literally run around and not sleep for two weeks like ran through the whole island with like supernatural type capacity there are claims that people have seen like quasi levitation stuff yeah. Um, like almost head spinning type stuff. Um, and then uh, Andrew says this was very common. Yeah. Um, here's one that uh, when, when Andrew was in Haiti, there were common stories about people turning into cats at night. Very which, common. I don't know. Uh, they all knew someone that turned into cats. Again, Wait, every, so everyone in Haiti knew someone who turned into yeah, cats, turned according into to Charlie cat. Kirk's friend. You know, you, know, you know, in Romania, everyone knows somebody who came back from the grave as a vampire. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. And that, uh, when, when Andrew was in Haiti, there were common stories about people turning into cats at night, which I don't know. Uh, they all knew someone that turned into cats. Again, I'm not sure about that. Um, oh, you're not sure about that. Nice, nice save that, there. That, that, one, that one goes a little too far. <laughs> My friend said... <laughs> the other stuff, the levitating, Yeah, uh, that, that, that's feasible. Everyone... Uh, knows someone who turned into a cat. And so, folks, this is the same Charlie Kirk who is spearheading the investigation into the disappearance of cats at the hands of Haitian migrants. So let me tell you something, folks. You're all blue-pilled if you don't understand what I understand, okay? You're all normies. You're all DNC plants if you don't understand what I understand, which is... So here's Charlie Kirk saying he heard stories about Haitians turning into cats, and now we're hearing Haitian migrants are eating cats. Did Turning Point USA flood America with shape-shifting cannibal catmen as a false flag <laughs> just in time for election season? The that, pieces that fit, do they it. not? That must do, be Do it. they not? What, after Labor Day when every start, everyone starts paying attention to politics? Just as election season heats up, just as the debate's coming around, we start hearing stories about cats disappearing because Haitian migrants are eating them. What if the cats are the Haitian migrants? See, what if that's shows, why they're disappearing. What if the, well, they're, 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 they're not being eaten? They are shaped or they are turning into the migrants. What if they are the same entity? And what if they were bussed in by Charlie Kirk to create a migration crisis story in the heart of campaign season? 
Now, I, you can't tell me that those that that doesn't add up. And if you don't up. believe that, it's because you're blue pilled. You're normal. You're woke. You're triggered. I have long. So get with it. Yeah, I have long been warning of the danger of Chinese chimeras uh, in the form of winged bat soldiers. Aficionados of the show may have heard my clarion call on this. That that uh, with China's advanced biomedical technology and large population of political prisoners, World War Three would be fought by winged bat soldiers. Right. That was going to be the big surprise they'd spring on us. But uh, apparently I was looking in the wrong direction for the chimeras. Apparently Haitian voodoo was actually the culprit all along. That's right. So this is all yeah. an op. It's all a turning point USA op. They yeah. found these shape-shifting cat people in Haiti, and they figured Trump is kind of struggling in the polls. We need to really crank up the fear under this immigration issue. So let's let's get some of these cat people here, and let's create a story. And that that's obviously what happened. And, you know, if you're going to deny that, then, you know, go back well, and Google, I, go well, watch actually, MSNBC. Go watch MSNBC. If, if you don't trust me, go watch CNN. Enjoy your en, Enjoy your blue pill world. No, you know what? Not if you go back and um, watch the Klaus uh, Kinski and Natasha Kinski film, Cat People, um, there are a lot of hidden implications there that eventually yeah. we are going to be overrun by cat people. David Bowie knew. And, um, you know, a lot of people say that's why they killed him. Yeah, that's right. That's right. At that. One more piece. The plot thickens. Go, go, go back and look at the lyrics of his cat people theme. Right? He <laughs> says it right there. <clears throat> All right, folks, I hate to break character. I hate to ruin the bit, but it's worth ruining the bit for this next slide. Uh, because obviously this is all pretty fucking absurd uh, to most people, but not to one person. Not to one person. Guess. Guess who buys into the Haitian cat eating hype? Uh, you will never guess. You will never guess in the chat. If you have not seen this already, um, don't don't sip any coffee now because you'll be in for a spit take. That's right. Old friend of the show, Marianne Williamson, says continuing to dump on Trump because of the eating cats issue will create blowback on November 5th. Haitian voodoo is, in fact, real. And to dismiss the story out of hand, <laughs> I mean, it is listen but, yeah. to the citizens of Springfield. Uh, oh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, what is this? Haitian voodoo is in fact real, comma, and to dismiss the story out of hand rather than listen to the citizens of Springfield, Ohio, she should have put a comma there, not a period, yeah. confirms in the minds of many voters the stereotype of Democrats as smug elite jerks who think they're too smart to listen to anyone outside their own silo. Okay. This well, is the issue you, you decide go. to build that point on? Right. This is the issue really? you build the point on. <laughs> right. Right. I mean, exactly. there are there are many things like, hey, Marianne, you want to impress me, um, you know, write this same tweet and say, you know, uh, dumping on Trump uh, because he doesn't think that pornography should be in public schools uh, right. makes Democrats look like elite jerks. But she would never write that because right. too many people who like Marianne Williamson are for that. She probably doesn't have to fear offending a, a large uh, pro voodoo portion of her readership. <laughs> exactly. Uh, or you can make this point about NAFTA, which in fairness to her, she probably has, you know, her economic program, you know, has a cogent. Uh, yeah, the, this is getting into culture war. This, 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 this there, is more there culture are quite war a lot right. of areas where you could say, exactly. well, you know, a lot of parents don't think children should be at strip shows. Right. Whether drag or not. No, this is the culture war uh, issue that she wants to fight on behalf of MAGA, which are, you know, and it's funny. I mean, even in this video that we played that Kirk put out, he says, everyone they spoke to has heard stories. Well, the Facebook post went viral. So anyone on Facebook who lives in Springfield, Ohio, saw that post. Like, if you live in the town that the post is about and it's a viral post, pretty good chance everyone you speak to is going to have seen that. So that's what he means by everyone they spoke to has heard stories i mean everyone saw on facebook that pets were being abducted and eaten there has not been anyone to come forward and actually say that this happened exactly. the police have said exactly. this has not happened where, this where are the has reports not of missing this pets? is the hill marianne where are the actual missing pets yeah this is the hill she wants to die on here 
Yeah, this is the culture war battle she wants to wage. Hey, let's not be too condescending to the. Uh, it, it, we really missed the boat not getting on board with that campaign. <laughs> yeah. What were exactly. we thinking? What were yeah. we thinking? Dismissing her as a as a lightweight con artist. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, she won't. But you're, you're right. Like all of the other cultural condescension she's on board with. But the no Haitian posses put that, Fido on a spit yeah. that we that's, that we have to take <laughs> seriously. Yeah, the line. <laughs> yeah, that crosses the line. Now, look, this issue is now the topic of debate and conversation, and it's ridiculous. And this is why after the debate, I said it's a huge missed opportunity. Another just swing and a miss for Donald Trump, who just does not have the self-control to execute, because this is now what people are talking about vis-a-vis -vis immigration after that debate. You right. took your strongest issue, your strongest right. issue. Donald Trump could have said- And made yourself look ridiculous. And made yourself look ridiculous. He could have said the simplest thing in the world, which is, you were appointed as borders are. We all know that. Do not come. That was the famous line. Biden put you in charge of the border. Uh, the border is a mess. And now you're denying that you were wherever borders are because you know that it's a mess. That's all you had to say. That is a fastball. That is a lob ball right down the middle of the plate. That is all you got to do. Instead, he decides to repeat J.D. Vance's claim based on a Facebook post that has been corroborated by no one and only serves to perpetuate the idea that people who are concerned about immigration are racist, which is not true. I think you can have right. totally legitimate yeah. concerns about immigration without being racist. Sure. But when the story of the day, the viral story, is that Haitian voodoo mobs are kidnapping cats in the Midwest and eating them, and you parrot that, well, that gives credibility to people who want to smear immigration hawks as racist. It, it does, because this reads that way. It just does. So, yeah, big missed opportunity for him there. Um. Yeah, no, I, I, well, I, I think part of the agenda here is, you know, Trump's media company is producing a uh, Serpent in the Rainbow sequel called uh, <laughs> yeah, Serp right. Serpent and the Trans Immigrant. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> so <laughs> I think they're just trying to juice up interest in that. Yeah. And to put okay. icing on the cake, the best meme related to this story by far, the meme of the week. <laughs> <laughs> picture of rfk so i was looking for a place to eat in spring <laughs> <laughs> tell me that's not good that is all that right. is great meme game all right that that is that is a great meme <laughs> yeah that is a great meme i gotta retweet that now i mean that's just that is too good because <laughs> it's the perfect choice of words too like he doesn't say yeah. too much he leaves just enough to the imagination so i was looking for a place to eat in springfield <laughs> oh good stuff please clap <laughs> 